Hey everybody in Floss Tube Land, this is Kimberly Ann and I am back with Floss Tube number 11. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Uh, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss any future content. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, I appreciate you coming back and spending some time with me today. Um, lately, my videos have been a little sporadic. Uh, I was filming like on Wednesdays or Thursdays, then it became Fridays or Saturdays, then it was Sunday or Monday, and here we are on Tuesday. So um, I'm going to try to keep them at the beginning of the week. Um, we had a really busy weekend this weekend, so I didn't exactly get to film on Sunday or Monday like I planned. Um, but yeah, so most of my videos will be at the beginning of the week. Um, and hopefully... With summer coming up, I'll still have a good bit of stitching time, but we are outside people, so I don't have quite as much as normal. Um, and it's getting hot here, so we're wanting to stay outside more. So, um, for those of you who didn't know, my husband and I celebrated our 27th wedding anniversary on Friday and our 28th anniversary for our first date on Saturday. So um, we had dinner. We wanted to go out to eat, but the mayor of our city, after the governor said they could open as long as we were spaced a few tables apart, um, last minute the city mayor decided that he was not allowing that to happen in our city. So our reservations got canceled. So we did the best thing we could and went and picked it up and ate at home together. The food was still great. Still our favorite restaurant. Um, and hopefully... Our friend can keep his restaurant open because he was telling us the other day that if they don't get to open like normal soon, that he may have to close all his restaurants down permanently, which is not good. And I'm sure he's not the only one. This is probably happening everywhere. Um, but yeah, so we had a really great dinner for our anniversary on Saturday evening. We just hung out all day Friday and Saturday. I sat outside and stitched while he just goofed around with four wheeler and cut the grass. Um, Saturday, same thing. We kind of hung out under the house. Uh, Sunday, my youngest son bought crawfish. So we boiled a couple sacks of crawfish. We played Giant Jenga, which seems to be our new favorite outdoor party game. I don't know why, but it's fun. Um, so yeah, the adult kids like it because they think it's funny when they're drinking to try to stack the little pieces of wood weird. Um, but yeah, so we played Jingle on Sunday, um, and then Sunday morning, before we boiled crawfish, our dog decided to dig in the ground, like dogs do, and got a fish hook through the inside of his mouth and out his snout right here. There was no vet open anywhere close, no emergency vets, no emergency vet services, um, so... We messed with it Friday, uh, Saturday, Sunday. I am tongue tied. We messed with it Sunday morning. Didn't get it out. Decided we needed more hands. Um, so Sunday night, after we got done boiling crawfish, we sedated the dog with Benadryl, and then we had to take it out. And it took like five of us to hold him still, even on the Benadryl. But we got it out. He's not even swollen. Put some honey on it. He he's fine. Um, he's acting like a goofy dog digging in the dirt again. Um, and then yesterday I decided to rescue a tiny, tiny baby possum. Um, it's a little ringtail possum. She is the cutest thing. I thought it was a he, and then my husband decided to flip it over and we found out that George is not a George. George is a girl. So I have to figure out a name. Um, my daughter-in-law's mother wants to keep her as a pet. But I love her, so I don't know. We'll decide that later. Um, so, yeah, I like to save animals. Snakes, spiders, I can do without those. Everything else, I just want to hug everything. Um, so, I didn't get a ton of stitching done. I got a good bit. I didn't have a spectacular start to mania like I wanted to. But, you know, I said I was going to try to keep it sane and... I really kept it lazy this week. We're going to pick it up next week. So, I don't remember if I did any more on this since I showed you last, so I'm going to show it to you. This is my Mary Mary Needle Worker. The last thing I worked on was this little area here. 
Um, so later today, I'm going to work some more on the skirt, and I'm going to try to finish up this side. I think I have a bee, one or two bees, and then the rest of this flower, and I'm done. Or the rest of these flowers, there's more than one. And then I have my, let's, I guess I should go in order, huh? Let's go with day one start. So this is my day one start. It is the, I think it's called the um, Be Well Crystal by Wild Violet. So I posted on Instagram the day I started, I got about three quarters of this done. So um, yesterday I finished this part, today I started this. It's kind of going slow. I've just been enjoying outside. So day one, that was my start. I also worked on um, Miss Mary Mack that day, um, so I got a good bit done on her. Um, day two was our was the day that we hung out outside. Didn't get hardly any stitching done, so day two was spent on the Be Well Crystal again, finishing up the moon and starting the vines for the flowers. Um, Day three, I had a start and finish, which I was super busy, so I didn't post until this morning. But this is my day three, start and finish. It is the PC Chicken Love by Priscilla and Chelsea of the Stitching with the Housewives. Only thing that's missing is the little seed bead eyes. I have them, I just have to remember where I put them. I just put them in a... um little like bead sorter container and I don't know where I stuffed the container so it's in this room somewhere I just don't know where all right and then the other thing I worked on this week was my Miss Mary Mac y'all you see this painters tape is my best friend even on my this is a plastic uh, file folder that zips from Walmart but even on my fabric um, my Jeez, I don't know what's wrong with my brain today. I guess I'm tired from the weekend. Uh, even on my fabric sewing bags, I put painter's tape with the label on it, and that way I could just rip it off when I'm done. So I can, it's easier than having to unzip every bag because I really don't like the vinyl, uh, the vinyl front bags too much. Oops, you got loose thread all over the place. Oh, that's my messy back, y'all. Sorry about that. It's like showing you underwear in public. I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is my Miss Mary Mac. When I showed y'all on Instagram the other day, I think I had her hair and her face and a little bit of her chest done. So I got more of her dress, the heart, and then with silver buttons. So I still have um, probably six more lines of... Uh, goodness gracious. About six more lines on this side of text. The text on this side and then the border, and then the rest of her little dress and her shoes, which is about halfway done. Where did I put that thread? My goodness. Y'all, I'm not together today. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. Probably I'm stressed out. Getting a little star crazy in the house. Okay, so that is everything I sewed on, and that is crazy crazy because it is only eight minutes and I rambled on like a crazy person this, uh, at the beginning. I'm going to put my thread back in here before I lose it. So that is everything I stitched on. I did not get to stitch on Halloween Quaker this week. So Halloween Quaker and um, Halloween Quaker, Mary Mary Needleworker and uh, Angel Pavement are my focus pieces this month. So Sometime this week, each one of them will get some work put into them. I don't know how much, but they will. Okay, and then I'm going to show you my next um, mania start, which should be tomorrow. Depends on if I get the crystal done. If I get the crystal done, I'll start this tomorrow. If not, I'll start it the day that I, that I get done because I don't want to have too many new starts. So this is a freebie. It is for the Be Well and Stitch. Like I said, I was doing a bunch of those for Mania. Um, this is going to be on the same piece of Fortnite fabric that it's big enough that I can put probably one more here 
thin and two on this side of the Belon stitch. This is Fortnite fabric, uh, fabric of the month from the colorful group for April. And I think it's called Fuchsia. Um, Fortnite fabrics is on the internet. They have a Facebook group and they have a website that I'll link below. And they are married with stitches, Christian and Derek on YouTube. So let me go to my haul, which is not a ton, but I do have some. I have a chart that I have been looking at since the day that I decided to start cross stitching again after 25 years of being away. So I finally got the map of Hawk Run Hollow. I don't know exactly what day I'll start this, but my decision was I will start it when I am at least halfway done with Halloween Quaker. I think that's a good way to be. I have so many big projects that I think from now on until before I start another large one, large being like 250 by 250 or more, will be, I have to be at least halfway done with one of them. So if I wanna start two new large ones, I have to be halfway on two others. That way it keeps my stitching fresh. I have stuff to work on that I'm not tired of looking at, but it also keeps me from being overloaded with projects that are so big and has like this many stitches on it and me saying I'm not gonna do that anymore. Um, Okay, so this I ordered from Tomorrow's Heirlooms. Um, it is by Brenda Gervais, I think, with Thy Needle and Thread. Um, it's called Project Quarantine Stay Home and Stitch. It says, let's stay home and stitch. And it is a um, charity project. I think so much of the proceeds are going to local needle workshops to help them out because some of them are not doing well in business. Oops, can't show you the chart. I'm sorry. Just trying to show you the back. It's a very nice chart. It's um like glossy coated hard cardstock. It's really beautiful. The inside is full color. Um and it was nine dollars. I paid eight dollars plus a dollar for shipping, so it is well worth it. I don't know how much will go towards the local needle workshops, but I mean, even if it's a dollar, if they sell a thousand of these, that's a thousand dollars they can use to help shops. So I ordered that one. I don't know when I'm going to stitch. I think I'm going to put that into my um, rotation for new starts for Mania. Um, I got Plum Street Samplers Sweetheart Hill in celebration of my husband and I's anniversary. I'm trying to get it where it doesn't glare so much. But it says, I belong with you on the bottom. And this little couple is so adorable, y'all. I think that's a little better. So this will be stitched for my husband and I. And I'm going to put the year we were married. I, tell me below what you think. Should I put the year we were married and then 2020 for celebrating our anniversary this year? Or should I do this year and put 27th anniversary? Not sure. But it was love at first sight. So evidently I decided I belonged with him the day we went on our first date because I never dated anybody else after that. And then for the rest of my haul is an order I've been waiting for from 123 Stitch. I've been waiting for this one for a little bit, probably three weeks. But it is a ton of DMC floss. I don't have very many browns. So I went and ordered just about every brown that there is. Because I'm always looking for different browns. And I'm like, I have a dark one. A really dark coffee brown. And then an almost tan. And that's it. And I don't know how that is. I guess I don't like brown very much. Okay, and then I got three pieces of Ada. Now, I don't know if it's just me. I have, um, I have ordered Ada from 123 Stitch before, but it's always been white. I ordered these, and to me, I mean, I don't know if it's just my iPad and my computer, my phone, because I've looked at them at all three to see if it was just a color difference on the screen. 
Um, these are not the shades that I thought they were. This one is Da Vinci, and it's really, really bright lavender. Now on the photo, it looked gray with dark gray. So I actually bought this for my Serena pattern. And Serena, they didn't have a blue that I liked because I wanted to use 18 count Ada. They had it in the higher count fabrics, but I needed Ada. Um, so I ordered this thinking, okay, well, if I can't do blue, I'll do gray. This is like, I don't know how to show you. It is, maybe put it up against the light. See how purpley it is? It, if you put it in the, under a light or in the sun, it is like a bright lavender. So I'm going to use it anyway for Serena. I mean, if I don't like it, I'll give it to one of the green kids. They'll use it. I'll make a little purse out of it or something. But it's a pretty fabric. It's just not what I wanted to use it for. And then this is Dill. In person and on camera, well, on camera and on the photo on the website, it looked green. So I ordered it because I love green fabric. In person, it looks yellowish tan. So I'm sure I'll still use it, but I don't know what for because it won't work for the pattern I ordered it for. And then this is Barnwood. Barnwood looks brown on the camera. In the sunlight, it looks purple. It looks a very deep, deep purple. So, I will use this, but I don't know what for. They're all gorgeous, so don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining about the quality. The quality is good. They're so soft. The dye is the dye project, or... The dye patterning is very modeled and it's very beautiful. The shades are not anything of what I thought they were. And I thought, okay, well, my eyesight's bad. I will ask other people. I asked my daughter-in-law and she even looked at the photos from her phone and she said they don't look like the same fabric. So it could be very well that the photo's old and the dye lot just did not come out as close to the photo as normal. I don't know. They'll get used. I'm just iffy about ordering for specific projects now. Um, I think from now on I'll just order the fabric that I like and then once it gets here say, oh, this might work for this or it'll work for that, you know, do it that way because ordering for specific, none of those were what I thought they were. Has any of you ever ran into that? Because that really got under my skin a little bit. I'm not a picky person, but I mean, I'm going to have to have purple background for a mermaid. So, I mean, hopefully it comes out good. Okay, so I showed you my next start for um, Mania, which was the... Home is our safe haven. Um, I got two, two charts also for my haul. One of them I think was a freebie though. I don't think I paid for it. But I ordered a Stitch for Sweet Freedom by Lindy Stitches. I just love this. I have somebody in mind that I want to make it for. Uh, my daughter-in-law, I mean my daughter's mother-in-law. I think she would like that a lot. So I think I'm going to make that for her for Christmas because I just love her to death. We were friends long before they got engaged. So she's just the sweetest thing. She's a great grandma to my grandkids. Well, sorry, a great grandma to our grandkids. And she does a lot of stuff for my daughter because she lives right next door. So, And then I got this. I don't remember what site I got it off of. Um, I found it, I think, on Pinterest. But um, it's called Fly a Garrick, I think, but this will definitely be a mania start. I think I'm going to do this on the pink fabric too. Um, I think that would look really cute. So, and it's kind of small, so I may be able to squeeze two, um, two small patterns next to each other and actually get another pattern on that fabric, uh, because I'm doing the smaller ones as pillows. So 
with it being a pillow, I'll be able to squeeze, you know, get it a little closer together because I don't need that much room. I usually add fabric around my pillows anyway, so. Okay, so that's all of my haul and my whips. My plans are, um, like I said, I'm going to try to focus on Mary Mary Needleworker and Halloween Quaker more because I feel like I'm slacking on those two. Um, I also want to work more on my angel pavement. Um, it has so many colors in it that I'm just picking the colors as I go. So I need to sit down one night when it's late and I don't really, like I'm too tired to stitch, but I'm not ready to go to sleep. Um, maybe sit down and pick out some more threads to toss in that bag. Um, I want to finish the two that I started, um, which is Mary, um, I keep saying Mary Mary. It's Miss Mary Mac and uh, Be Well Crystal. Um, I'm going to start, I said I was going to start one every Saturday and every Wednesday, which would be a little, some little um, Be Well and Stitch or just something little, probably mostly Be Well and Stitch, but I do have a few others that I've thrown in there. Um, I want to start those like every Wednesday and Saturday, but if I'm not done with one, I may push the start of another one back a day or two. So I don't feel like I'm getting really behind because I've been in a whip finishing mood. So I wanted to join Mania. However, I didn't want to add a ton more whips. So I feel like if I finish one, then I can start another. I won't get so overwhelmed. Because, like I said, we are having wonderful weather now. We've been in the 80s and in the 60s at night. Um, so we're an outside family. We like to hang out in the yard. Um, I like to garden. The grandbaby has a pool. Um, so and our beaches are open again so we can start going to fly the kites. Um, so, yeah, I can go walking again now because I, I don't like to walk in our neighborhood. Our people drive crazy back here. So I'd rather walk on the beach because I actually have a walking, biking, and skate and bike, pa uh, walking, bike, and skateboard path. Um, so I, you know, they it's as wide as a street. So, and they're separated by lanes like walking, biking, and whatever else. Um, so I feel safer walking out there. So now that the beaches are open, I can actually go walk in the evenings or in the mornings. Um, because the gyms are still not open, which I don't think I would want to be in a gym right now anyway, but um, that way I can get some more exercise in because I've really not been exercising. Um, I've been trying to get back to eating right. Um, I got a little off track with quarantine. You know, you're in the house, you just, everybody else is eating chips, you just eat chips. It is what it is. Um, I haven't gained any weight, but then again, I'm about to hit my one-year anniversary and I have not hit my weight goal. I'm missing like 23 pounds, so... Um, I'm still working on that. Um, and eventually I have to break down and go shopping for some summer clues. I'm still in clues that are from over 100 pounds ago. Um, well, right at 100 pounds. I have no shorts and it is getting so hot. Um, I've been wearing jeans outside. When we did the crawfish boil the other day, I was dying in the sun. Um, because I have no shorts. Um, I don't want to be hanging out in the house to buy any. I mean, hanging out in the stores trying to shop. So, and I'm kind of in between like some sizes I'm in a 10, some si uh, some brands I'm in a 10, some brands I'm in an 8. So I don't want to order off the internet and then have to go through the hole trying them on and then sending them back. And a lot of stores are not taking refunds of clothes right now. So I might have to wait three months to send them back. Um, so... I think I'm going to go shop at my niece's house. She said she has a lot of size 8s that I can have because she uh, is buying new clothes. So she knows definitely what size she wears so she can order online. So she's giving me a bunch of shorts just to get me through until I can go shopping, which is wonderful. Um, I guess it's better than throwing them away. Um, I think that's about it. Um, I haven't really watched any floss tube this week. I think I caught a Fresh Coast Stitcher. I caught Bree's new one. I caught Becky's new one. Uh, I watched one of Priscilla and Chelsea's latest videos. I caught the two martini Stitcher. 
and that's about it. I haven't really caught too many new ones. Um, I am on the lookout for new ones. Uh, I've had a lot of new followers on Instagram, so thank you very much if you're one of those. Um, I've had a few new subscribers. Um, let's see. I've had a couple people contact me on Facebook about my Etsy shop that they saw, uh, which I'll link that below. I did add some more cross-stitch stuff in there. Um, yeah, that's about it. We've just been chill, except for doing surgery on the dog the other night. We're good. Um, just been hanging out at the house. Uh, been eating a lot of crawfish. If you're not from the South, you don't understand, but true Southern families usually eat crawfish at least once every other weekend um, during the summer. So, and then, Well, in the spring and summer. So uh, we've had crawfish two weekends in a row now. I don't think we'll have them this weekend. Uh, Friday is Aubrey's second birthday, so that's the day the fire trucks are going to come through. Uh, my daughter and my niece and them are going to ride through. We're going to do like a little birthday parade, so I'm probably going to go on our neighborhood's Facebook page and post and see if anybody else wants to join in. So um, sometime before Friday, I have to make some poster boards for her. I'm just going to cut letters out on the Cricut and stick them to the poster board and hang them on the front porch. Because like I said before, our house is elevated, so if we hang them on the porch railings, Everybody can see from the street, um, so I'm going to make her like a happy birthday sign. She's have, she was supposed to have a unicorn birthday party. We have all the supplies. We're just not doing the birthday party right now. Um, so I think I'm going to put some unicorns on there. Uh, whatever I decide to do, I'll post on Instagram so everybody can see it. Um, yeah, so uh, Sunday's Mother's Day. We are supposed to... Um, be barbecuing that day. So, um, yeah, we'll just have another chill outside day. Um, and that's about it. Hopefully everybody's doing great. Um, you're getting a lot of stitchy time in. You're able to get outside time to get some fresh air. Fresh air is great for you. Uh, fresh air also helps with sanity from being inside of four walls of the house. Um, everybody stay healthy. Stay happy and have a wonderful stitching day. Thank you.